All right, guys. Starting out this video, uh, went to Fort Worth this past weekend and stopped at a swap meet down there. And cool find for five bucks. It is a brass hammer, an older brass hammer. I can't see the name brand. Thought maybe it was a J William J. Uh, J and H Williams, but it has AS Corporation and it's uh, 120 20 20, I think. I can't read. I got to clean it up, see what up. But that's a solid brass. The handle's got some character. Somebody, I'm going to try to save this. It's loose, and they got the hand, the head on upside down. They wanted 10, and I gave her five. Uh, I look the prices on these things they they go anywhere from 50 to 219 dollars so these are expensive brass hammers I don't have one this small or this size I've got another one I've got a huge one a Wilton and then uh, that's a nice and there was a guy down there I don't know if you guys have been pricing hatchet hammer handles and stuff but I got uh, eight of them paid 30 bucks which I thought was very fair uh, these things he would have sold me he had a whole I, he probably had 40 of them and he was going to sell them to me for three bucks a piece but I had no way to haul them back these are probably seconds I think Except for this one, and this one got wet. You can tell it's been wet. Uh, bought different sizes, two of the same here. This one's got a, uh, it's got uh, wormholes in it, which is pretty cool. This one, this one's rough. I don't know if someone milled this one tried to I don't know what it but it's it this would make a good sledgehammer a small sledgehammer handle uh, it's pretty cool and then uh, the rest of the these are sledgehammer probably use this for a hatchet good hardwood and I wish I could have hauled more though but anyways uh, oh, I got nine of them. Sorry, nine of them for thirty, thirty dollars. Thought I had bought eight. Anyways, thirty dollars for the handle, five dollars for the brass hammer, and I'm gonna reuse this handle. I'm gonna clean this up and reseat it. Uh, I didn't even pull it apart to see what it's like. I got another hammer here I'll make a video on. This was given to me. But, I don't know what kind of shims in there. It almost looks like a coin. Now it's got the better of me. It's wanting me to find out. Is it a coin? I'll be darned. Hang on, guys. I gotta, I gotta find it. I gotta find out. Or is it just a slug? Oh, it's a washer. I think I can fix this. Nice brass. Like I said, this solid brass. It's marked H3 here on this side. And then AS Corporation 120-20 or 25, it's hard for me to tell. I gotta clean it up. That's cool. Uh, man, these brass hammers are expensive, don't say. Uh, anyways, uh, Fort Worth was, uh, was hot. I think it was like 104. There wasn't as many vendors, they said. First time I've ever been there to Fort Worth. So, anyways, the uh, 
it was covered. I, what I liked about this uh, flea market, everything in it's all covered under a covered uh, canopy, which is pretty cool. Uh, you guys down in about Fort Worth, uh, Dallas, there's a, there's a flea market in Arlington that's supposed to be pretty good. That's probably where my next trip, I'm going to go probably in September. Check that out. Oh, but this stuff, uh, hammer handles, hard to come by, so if you find them, buy them. Uh, you just, you know, I got like four dollars a piece in these, four fifty a piece, four quarter and a quarter, which I'm pretty happy. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I thought I'd show you that. Thought it'd be kind of neat. Y'all have a good day now.